Greetings everyone, this is non-expert here back again with another video. Today we are going to be solving problem number 20 of our third daily code challenge and the problem which has been given to us today is construct the binary source tree from pre-order traversal. So we've not solved, actually we solved a similar problem like this before which was actually taking both in-order and pre-order traversal but we can use the same formulation to sort of build out the logic. So let's just dive right into the problem description. Again, if you want to try solving this problem on your own, you can pause this video and check out the link given in the description below. So we need to return the root node of a binary source tree that matches the given pre-order traversal. So recall that a binary source tree is a binary tree where every node, uh, any descendant of node left has a value which is less than node val, uh, which is the present node, and any descendant of node right is always greater than node val. Also recall that the pre-order traversal displays the value of the node first, uh, then traverses node left, and then node right. So basically they're telling us how pre-order traversal works. So if you've been given the binary source tree like this, the way you would go with the pre-order um, traversal is by going to the root first. So you go eight, um, then you go five, then one, seven, 10, and 12. Um, if you don't know pre-order traversal, you can probably look it up. But the way I like to sort of look at it is if you have a simple tree, which is a plus b, right? So plus is over here, a is over here, and b is over here. The way you say pre-order is that whatever operator that you have is pre, so that's the first one. So you have plus, uh, which comes first, then you go left, then you go right. Um, anyways, but do note over here that we're doing a binary search tree. So a binary search tree has the a rule which they've already described that whatever's on the left will always be less than whatever's on the on the center of whatever you're taking it. So if you have five over here, whatever's on the left of it would always be less than that and whatever would be greater than it, uh, whatever would be on the right of it would be greater than it. Uh, but do note that it would not be greater than what's on the top. So seven will never be greater than eight. So that's just the fund fundamental logic. And let's just dive right in. So this problem is actually very simple when you think about it. So the only thing that you need to maintain is um, a node and the index that you're presently on we know that in pre-order we start with the first index so you know that the first index whatever has been given to you is going to be the um the root or at least the sub root of whatever the you know tree that you're creating if you're creating recursively um and you can sort of build out your logic from there so you need the index well don't really need the index you just need the first element of your list and the other thing that you need is that you need the limit till you need to understand like till where do I go? So over here, the only problem which I see is that um, I need to go till 10. And the reason for that is I will keep on skipping forward till I reach uh, a value which is actually greater than, or actually, yeah, which is uh, greater than the value which I have at the center. So when I have eight, so I can sort of split those two, so I can say whatever is less than eight is on the left hand side, whatever is on the, uh, whatever is greater than eight comes on the right hand side. So you can see that over here as well. And if I go a step further and I just con consider five comma one comma seven, I can sort of you know build out the same logic. I can say whatever is on the left of five will come over here, and whatever is on the right uh, will be greater than whatever is of five. So basically, this entire thing. So pretty straightforward. So we'll just start with the base condition, which is just going to be, hey, if nothing's been given to us, then you return nothing. And to do this problem, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a help function. And do note that I was sort of mentioning this before that you need two things, which is the array itself, actually the first element of the array. Um, I'm actually passing the entire array. I'll sort of talk about why I'm doing that. And also the limit. And uh, limit would sort of help us understand like, to where do I go? Um, and what I want to do is I want to store this inside something called as a result and um, basically pass in the pre-order and for the first limit I'm just going to pass in infinity. It doesn't really matter what I'm passing in to be honest. And eventually I'm going to assume that whatever is res is actually the root node of um, whatever we have so far. So now comes the tricky part, right? So um, do note in Python, you always pass, whenever you pass arguments, you're always passing them by reference and not by value. So whatever operations I put on pre-order, if I do a pop on it, that will happen on the pop of the, whatever this pre-order is. It's not really constrained to that particular um, 
uh, scope of the uh, function. So basically what we want to do is we want to fetch the first value and the first value is going to be pretty straightforward. We know how to fetch that out. Um, but before we sort of fetch out the first value, let's just check where the pre-order exists. Um, and also um, pre-order, um, the first value of pre-order is also less than the limit. If that's the case, then we do some operations, otherwise we're just going to turn on. So what I'm trying to say is, if, if I'm on my pre-order list, if I have a pre-order list, first of all, I need to make sure that whatever is the first element that I'm presently on, and do note that in my pre-order, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on popping out the items, and I'm going to pop out the first items, to be honest. Not going to be like really, I mean, complexity-wise, that pop is going to take off, and, uh, but I don't really care about that right now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check whether the pre-order, the first element in pre-order is actually less than the limit. And if it is less than the limit, then, then okay, cool. But if it's not, so let's say that we pass in the limit at, as 8. So I will want to pass in none, and none is going to be over here because one does not really have anything on its left and right child, so that's going to be none, and so on and so forth for 7 as well. And when that happens, I want to make sure that I'm returning or sort of breaking out. So that's going to be my breakaway condition. Otherwise, if uh, we have all these other values, then we sort of you know, take care of them a lot more easily. So what we're going to say is we're going to create a val and what we're going to do is we're going to pre-order pop. So what I'm doing is I'm basically getting the first value. And do note when I'm doing pre-order pop, that's happening in place. So that value is no longer going to be there. So now that I have a value, I can use this value to actually create a node. So I'm just going to say create node um, and you just have to like copy this particular guy to see like how its constructor is defined. So it just takes in the value, which is X, you can just pass that in. So we have that and now comes the recursive part on how you sort of keep on building out. So what you want to do is you want to create node left and you want to create node right. And you want to create this by using this helper function and recursively call whatever you have so far. So I'm going to recursively call pre-order. And for the limit, what I'm going to set the limit as is the value itself. So the value that we had popped out, that's going to be the limit for the left. For the right, we don't really have a limit, to be honest. So let's just, you know, give it uh, whatever. Actually, it does have a limit, to be honest with you. Um, so whatever limit that we're passing in here, that's going to be the limit over here as well. Oops. And the reason for that is, um, if you look at this particular example, and let's just say you have 5, 1, and 7. So you've got 8, you go on the left-hand side, you've constructed 5, you've constructed 1. Now you know that 7 is actually greater than 5, right? But it's not greater than 8. And the limit is 8 for, you know, breaking out of this particular node. But for this node to go on the right, you know that 7 is actually greater than 5. So... Um, basically, it's going to come under this condition and it's going to check the limits and then it's going to move forward from there. And eventually, if nothing happens, um, it's going to return a none. So obviously, over here, we'll also need to return something and we're just going to return the node value and that's basically it. So let's just go ahead and run this code and hopefully this should run fine. It didn't run fine. Why exactly did it not run fine? Uh, so it's a runtime error, seems like we have a syntax error, and we do over here. So quick debugging mode was on, and there you go. So it seems to be running fine, and let's just go ahead and submit this, and hopefully this should get submitted. And also, you can see that the solution's been accepted. Um, this problem is not really that complicated. You just have to know that you're going to construct, or you're going to use a utility function just to construct out your entire uh, tree. And then just creating this tree is like pretty straightforward to be honest. And awesome, that was it for today's video. Um, if there's something you didn't understand or if you have any comments, do leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you did like this video, do give a like and do subscribe to our channel. We are a discussion over here and we would love to have you on board with us. Again, we are almost through the 30 day lead code challenge. We are, um, we are two thirds there, so we are just one third left to go so this is the last leg so if you've already subscribed you're awesome we all know it have an awesome day stay safe and thank you so much